Tata Advanced Systems and Safran Aircraft Engines have inaugurated a new rotating parts manufacturing facility for leading-edge aviation propulsion engines at Adabatla, Hyderabad. The plant will produce complex engine components for CFM International's next-gen LEAP engines, known for 15% better fuel efficiency and lower noise. This milestone strengthens Tata Safran's 2024 partnership and boosts India's role in global aerospace manufacturing. India now operates 75% of its commercial aircraft with LEAP engines, with over 2,000 units ordered. DRDO is set to test its hypersonic glide vehicle, codenamed Dhvani within months, marking a major step in India's hypersonic weapons program. Designed to glide at speeds over Mach 5 and perform evasive maneuvers, Dhvani can strike targets over 1,500 kilometers away. Built with advanced ceramic and carbon-silicon carbide thermal protection, it can withstand 2,000 degrees Celsius re-entry heat. Developed with 70% indigenous materials, Vunny aims for full-scale trials by early 2026 from Abdul Kalam Island. The Astra MK3 Orgon Diva is a 340 km BVR missile using a duct ramjet, but long-range attacks risk electronic spoofing. DRDO plans AI-based identification friend or foe, machine learning fusion of radar signatures, flight profiles and emissions, paired with gallium nitride AESA seekers to spot decoys and reduce data link reliance. Future upgrades add electro-optical seekers and onboard threat databases, so missiles can visually confirm targets, cut friendly fire, and improve first-shot kill reliability. India's Indigenous Light Tank Program is advancing to equip the Army for high-altitude warfare against China's Type 15 tanks. While LNT and DRDO Zora War leads with trials underway, Tata Defense and Mahindra Defense have entered the funded prototype stage under the Rupees 2,343 crore make I project. The 2530-ton tanks will feature 105mm guns, hybrid propulsion and AI systems, with 59 units due by 2028, and a total of 354 planned for Himalayan deployment. The Indian Air Force has issued an RFI to procure 100 aircraft self-protection jammer pods for the Su-30 MKI fleet, boosting survivability under the Rs. 65,000 crore Super Sukhoi program, designed for ASA-based 360 degrees jamming and DRFM deception. The pods will be delivered within 36 months under the Make in India framework, with at least 50% indigenous content. Firms like Data Patterns, LNT, and BL are key contenders, as India pushes for EW self-reliance by 2030. Facing shrinking squadron strength and advanced threats, the Indian Air Force is eyeing new space research and technologies Abhimanyu drone a jet-powered, uncrewed missile carrier capable of launching Astra Mk2 air-to-air missiles mid-mission. Acting as a range extender, it boosts strike reach beyond 250 kilometers while shielding pilots. Designed for man-on-man -man teaming, Abhimanyu offers low-cost, expendable capability, integrating AI, EW pods, and data links, and could enter IAF service within two years under the Atmanurba Bharat initiative. India and China held active and in-depth talks on managing tensions along the western sector of the LAC, reaffirming their commitment to maintain peace and stability through continued military and diplomatic dialogue. The discussions, guided by earlier leadership consensus, mark a positive step amid recent engagement efforts. In a sign of improving ties, direct flights between India and China resumed after a four-year suspension linked to the COVID-19 pandemic and Ladakh standoff. Bengaluru-based Purveyak Dynamics has unveiled the near-production-ready Veer, the world's first electric tactical all-terrain vehicle, to undergo Indian Army trials. 
Built under the Make in India initiative, Veer combines stealth design, AI-driven autonomy, and 620 Newton meters dual motor performance, four silent ISR and combat roles. With a 500 kilometers range, modular armor, and rapid 30-minute charging, it promises to replace legacy vehicles, marking a major leap in India's defense electrification and mobility innovation. A senior Indian delegation from the Ministry of Defense and HAL toured Moscow's JSCUC Saliat facility, where Russia unveiled its next-gen Izdalai 177S, or the AL-51F1 engine, for potential integration into India's Super Sukhoi and Su-57E projects, offering 31,000 kgf thrust, Mach 1.6 supercruise, and 30% lower maintenance, the 177S outperforms the current AL-41F1S engines, used on Su-30 MKIs. The visit explored co-production and technology transfer, with Russia proposing 50% indigenization. The talks could inject rupees 20,000 crore into Indo-Russian engine partnerships, marking a major propulsion upgrade for India's frontline fighters. As India's AMCA inches toward prototype rollout by 2028, Debate over its fifth-generation status has intensified due to the absence of a distributed aperture system in the MK1. Experts, however, affirm its fifth-gen pedigree featuring stealth shaping, sensor fusion and supercruise powered by GEF-414 engines. The MK2, slated for post-2030 development with 120 kN indigenous engines, will integrate distributed aperture system, electro-optical targeting system, and AI-driven threat modeling pushing the jet into 5.5-generation territory. The program underpins India's Atmanirbhar Bharat Drive, targeting 70% indigenization and operational deployment by 2035 to 2040. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.